We're reading books. We're reading books. Uh, uh, Excuse me. Sorry. As you desire. So the Wall of Memories is... The thing is, it's like these guys are very, very... Hypocrite. Hypocrite. Like, if you make one mistake, you are damned forever. That means, like, even if you didn't do anything as a baby, you are castless and basically are no work are nothing. And it is all because As you desire. of your birth parents. Like, if they're nobles, you're a noble. And it, oh, I hate it. Uh, the sacred... The, the search for the true prophet. Uh, and this one, for armor. Meh. We'll see what we can do. Oh, wait a minute. I just thought, like, the armor can go on our lovely dwarf when we get him. He can wear the warden's armor. He gets extra stamina, which means he can use his abilities a lot more. See? Win-win. We're going to we're gonna win this. Right, we're gonna go into the assembly room now since we've been in the in the queen in the king's courtroom. So, uh, bleh, maybe in a bit. The, the assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Of course. I will enter quietly. I want to see what's going on. Mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the service trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Deshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalord, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. Oh, for God's sake. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Jeez Louise. These guys are definitely uh, not Stone doing great. Sacred fools and dusters. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. This is the right. assembly of the clan. Only dashers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. Uh, you don't recognize the Grey Warden? I'm just observing, you know. Oh. Forgive me. I am so exhausted. I completely forgot about the message from the gate guard. I'm Welcome amazed he's the one person that doesn't recognize a warden. You can forgive our unrest. The loss of our king has hit us hard. Respect for your role is great. But you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. Okay, the blight is coming. Is there a way I can break the stalemate? So, who has authority to aid me? Yeah, the blight is coming. Come on! Troubling, but it will still seem distant compared to the empty throne. The assembly is blind to all else. Oh, that's true. Uh, does this city not care about the world to, is about to end? Is there any way I can break the stalemate? Yeah, let's go with I this. I must admit, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harriman, and they are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. Okay. Dueling for Ender, Harriman's man, can be found at the Harriman estate. Varteg Gavorn, Prince Balin's second, is often here in the assembly. I only wish there was more I could do for you. All right. Let, let, let's talk to them both, see what we can get out of them. Warden, well. It Hello. is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Vartag Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news right. do you bring? Okay, I need your aid against the Blight. You know who I am? The treaty to send troops to the surface. Who is Princess? You know who I am? It would be hard not to notice the Grey Warden and her eclectic entourage. I hear you seek the aid of Orzammar's finest. Uh, I need... I need aid to, against the Blight. Yeah. Yes, the treaty. I've seen it in the Shaper's libraries. Now, the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king. And we are sadly lacking one of those right now. That's true. A loophole. Uh, can I talk to... Battling the Ronin is the most important 
more important than politics. I can... Can I tell to Balin? Is there a way I can help? Uh, enough of you. Um... No one wishes this fight over more than Balin. But while it rages, Orzammar can spare no one to combat what may or may not be a new blight. Ugh. How can I convince you? Is there... There is a blight happening, I swear. I, I, I swear there's a blight happening right now. Look, I swear. D double pinky... Uh, swear. <laughs> I sound so pathetic. It, it, you sound really pathetic if you said, there is really a blight happening. I swear. It is. That's how I think it sounds instead of like, there is a blight happening. I swear it. It sounds like a little whiny person going, eee. are you implying the Grey Wardens wouldn't recognize a blight? Yeah. I believe you. But what are we to do? If Balin followed his heart and sent his men to aid you, Haramont would steal his throne. We would defeat the Blight, and return to find our homeland devastated by an incompetent tyrant. Right, how can I convince you? Then I'll have to seek aid from Haramon instead. Wait, we must be cautious about whom to trust. But perhaps we could find a way. Haramon has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramon's deception. Irrefutable evidence? Which I suppose you have? I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. Oh, you're just... Forget about it. I'm not doing... What kind of evidence? Uh, just tell me where to go. Uh, yeah, what kind Haramond of evidence? Haramon promised the same portion of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Excuse me, two assembly members. Desher is their formal title. Haramont can't possibly grant it to both of them. But they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Um... I ha have to think about this. Where did you get the... Yeah, where did you get That's them? That's not important. If they ask... Say you found them while searching the Shaper's libraries for your tree. Okay. Is there someone you could report him to? Normally, the Shapers would handle this sort of accusation. They are the scholars who manage our laws, histories, and genealogies. They are the final arbiters of all disputes in Orzammar. Okay. Fortunately, the Shaper of Memories is the most important among them. And his grandfather was Lord Haramont's aunt's first cousin. So obviously, we cannot expect him to offer an unbiased opinion. Okay, he'll hold a... He'll hold a descendant relative over his duty? I guess I can't expect you surfacers to understand the importance of family in Orzammar. The Shaper is biased, and if you want Prince Balin's help, he'll have to show where your loyalties lie. Will you do it? I find... Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much. But Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapsters in the Commons. Remember, don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. Okay. I am gonna take these letters. I'm gonna take these letters, right? And here's the idea. I'm going to take these letters and give it to... Uh, hello? I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forender. Mm. Second to Lord Haramont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. Um, thank you. The treaty is the aid. I have nothing to say to the usurper. I'd speak with Lord Haramont. Yeah, I'd speak to Lord Haramont. In an ordinary time, Lord Haramont would be honored to meet you. Unfortunately, we've already caught more than one of Balin's spies approaching Haramont under a pretense of friendship. So I'm afraid I won't be able to take your word. If you want to speak to Haramont, you will need to prove he can trust you. All right. Uh, how can I do that? How can I prove I'm not working? What do you want me to do to <laughs> publicly? Stop playing this game. The treaty compels you to help. Fairytag wants me to... 
Yes! That's what I wanted! Yes! We, w we can do this! Ah! Oh, I knew it! I knew it if we played nice, we could get evidence against him. Yeah, that's what it I see. Well, it hardly increases my confidence to hear that you went to him first. I assume you refused? I'm looking for a better... I'm working... I'm looking for a better offer. If you want Lord Harrowmont's assistance, first you'll have to prove he can trust you. Okay, um... How can I prove I'm not working for... What do you want me to do to do the announce? Yeah. If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Harrowmont's name. Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's memory. The Deshers take it very seriously, and unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down. Okay, so you'd like me to enter the proving ground in the name? Uh, you want me to find the fighters and drop down? Uh, why do you want somebody care? Uh, yeah, okay. It would certainly make your loyalties loud and clear. All right. Balin would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Aramont would have no fear of meeting with you then. Uh, I'll enter the proving ground with, and and see why the others withdraw. I don't want to start picking sides. I will not let Aramont send me on a run. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. The arena is located off the commons. Talk to the proving master and tell him you're entering Lord Aramont's roster. I thought the key fighters we lost were Guidon and Beisel. You can look for them in the fighters' preparation chambers behind the ring, and be sure it's before the fights begin. After the first bout, no one may change the roster. If you need to find me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern off the commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. All right. I was hoping, right, when I saw that, you know, when getting his quest, what I was hoping for was to get the letter and then give it to him to prove my loyalty, because then they know that I'm willing to give them the letter. Right? Does that not make sense? Let's do this, because I want to see if uh, what will happen if I give it to her. What do you want? Ah, oh, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you might want to look at these papers. Haramon is trying to cheat you. I, yes, I'm Kokorai. It's fascinating the surface has an entire order dedicated to fighting Darkspawn. Down here, that's just what fighting means. But I'm sure it's more difficult on the surface. It must be much harder to find them. <laughs> wow. You might want to look at these papers. I hear you're voting on the next king. Now, was that an attempt to cozen me into revealing my choice, or are you simply making small talk? It's so hard to tell with you surface types. You're all so charmingly direct and artless. Okay. I didn't notice I didn't notice you didn't answer my question. Yes, I am a member of the assembly, a Desher. I will be one of eighty nobles of purest blood to pick our sovereign king. If you're asking me where my vote lies, I'm forbidden to tell until the stones are cast. You want to look at these papers, how much they didn't never mind, I should you be certainly gone. should. I was gonna like immediately snitch. Like say, Hey, I'm not working the for you. End of Uzumar, be nigh. And assure the future of Dwarven society. Well, I'm not giving her the papers because of oh. two years Hello. tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Here he Brian is. Go alone, Ogren. She took Ogren. The house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Can you believe it? Ogren's barely even warrior caste anymore and he just comes in here like he's a... I didn't know it was Ogren. Who are you? I'm Loylanar Ivo, warrior, which is more than I can say for that useless sod. Okay. Who was he? Ogren's a drunken wretch. 
He comes up here two, three times a week, hounding people to lead some suicidal rescue mission after Bronca. Gets quite violent about it. I'd be scared if they hadn't practically gelded him after he killed young Lord Mino. Oh, God. What happened? All Mino's son said was how unlikely it was that a bunch of Smiths would return safely from the deep roads. Which is true. Ancestors preserve us. That's what the warrior caste is for. But Ogren claimed it was an insult to a paragon. Next thing, they're in a duel to first blood to defend Bronca's honor. Then Ogren starts screaming and runs him through. Oops. <laughs> I should leave before. Uh, wasn't the duel first blood? Uh, is that what you two are arguing about, Bronca? It's been two years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the deep roads that long and survived. That's true. Search teams who went out found nothing, but Ogren wants to keep risking lives searching. Oh, uh, well. Uh, why does Ogren care so much about Bronca? Uh, she's still his wife, isn't she? Oh. Even if she took their entire house into the deep roads and abandoned him. Why did they abandon him? Bronca was married to that drunk. Well, before she was a paragon. She was just a smith, and Ogren was one of the best warriors of his generation. Right. Uh, why did Bronco go into the deep roads? Yeah. Jason we know how she became... Treasure. She was quite secretive. Outright rude, really. She said okay. she never asked to found a house, that she didn't care about politics, and that we were too self-absorbed to defeat the Darkspawn. Ooh. She actually threatened anyone who said they'd come after her. How did she become a cat? Well, we already know. Why were you arguing about... It's been two years since Bronca left. Oh. No one has ever stayed in the deep... The search teams who went out found nothing, but... Ogren wants to keep risk... I should... If you see any guardsmen, tell them Ogren was... Okay, interesting. I forgot that, uh... Ogren was um, Bronca's husband. Okay. Oh, I think I recognize this. Maybe? Hello. So, I've been hearing rumors that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I, I can't imagine what you mean. I, I pay my expenses. What about the expenses your good friend Jarvia incurs when providing protection? It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens. That no one decides to just burn everything in your store. My store! Please, I don't have much. Business isn't good. People are scared. T tell Jarvia I'll get her money. I... Jarvia is not happy with your promises, old man. Now let's go inside and see what you can back. Hold on back. All right. All right. Let's go help him out. Lovely. Against the thugs. Hello. It's a welcome to this see you. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Ah, castless. Yours. Is there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow Neither me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carter's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. Ten gold sovereigns. The caster. Uh, take a good look. Do you really want to start this? That sounds like a threat. I'll risk it. Yeah, do you really want to start this? Whoa, whoa. All right, you win. I'm not going to die for ten lousy sovereigns. Yeah, get out of here. Hiya. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. Uh, could you be looking around your store? 
I... I've never met her, of course. They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's uh, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. Ah, okay. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. Hmm. I uh, should let you go back to your work. What do you know about her, Carter? A band of castless thugs. They're to blame for all the crime in Orzammar these days. They're criminals, and the children of criminals. The ancestors themselves declared them irredeemable. Uh, that's a shame. Their children as well? You go that far? Their births are abominations. They were born from no Kalna, with no acknowledgement by the Shapers. They are but... destined to be criminals. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm grateful for your help, but I don't think we have any more to talk about. But... Did you have something more pleasant you wish to discuss? I'm showing you the lowest prices I can... All right, I'll buy for good prices. But I have to say, like, they are very... Like, you can't determine somebody based on their parents. Sure, it, like, there is an extent that you can do it. Like, for example, if they're acting out the exact same way their parents are... But at the end of the day, you can't really fault a child for acting the way that they do, perhaps, because of certain reasons. Like, otherwise, what's the point? You've got to... What, what's the name? You've got to be fair. Like, you've got to be fair to the kids, basically. It's not their fault that they were born into a, wor into a world. It was their parents' decision. And, like, if you're just going to absolutely give them something like, oh, these people are evil, don't trust them, then how are people meant to, like, grow and become better? Like, that seems a bit, I don't know, a bit selfish. Very... Oh, wait, we forgot to give the ring. Got to put on a lot of things, actually. Let's put it on now. Put on the new robe. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, um, and then... Where's Wynn? Give her... Oh, this is two spell power, willpower. Yeah, that one's better. Um, uh, but this one's reduced hostility. That's good, because then... Hmm, okay. Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah. Ah, that's right. You wear these. We'll keep the cold resistance. Okay. Maybe just put the cold resistance on you. Might as well. No point in not doing it. Right. Okay. So he's got a nice. Uh, he's gained a lot of health. Uh, he gains health in combat. He also gains... Wait, is that right? Oh. Regeneration while exploring. I don't know. understand what that means. Does that mean like he gains health quicker? Like when he's exploring? Uh, free armor plus 20% received on healing. So, he's a pretty gnarly tank now. Okay, let's get out of here. I still can't believe they would do that to their own people. It, it's so heartless. Like, imagine, like, you're born, and then you're immediately told that you're nothing. Like, come on. How are you meant to... Like, if you're told you're nothing at birth, then how are you meant to become better? Because it's harder to, like, prove people wrong when they've already got, like, an idea that you're absolute... Andraste teaches that patience is the child. Hello. Person, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the Shaper. Uh, he agreed to hold your prayer meetings. Oh, praise the Maker! You truly walk in the light, friend. I no already problem. found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please okay. come to our first service. Sure. So just, so just here, or that was convenient. All right, let's go forth with my party into the deep roads going into the deep roads 
not the roads, what are they called? The castless. Right, we're looking for the guy who stole the book. Shady culprit. Okay. What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. Are you How does everybody know I'm a Warden? And secondly, I kill Darkspawn for a living. I'll eat you and poop you out. I'm looking for a thief who dares steal from the Shapers. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me, I mean, this person in? Uh, You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Uh, well. Oh, is that right? <laughs> That's nicely timed. Oh, is that right? Uh, Doosh! Proving receipt. Ah, uh, so... Ah, good. We got it in order, then. Alright. Anything else? Just beggars. Yeah, but look at this place. It's like the the ruins of a, a civilization. It's so terrible what they did to them. Like, come on. Like, people deserve a chance to be able to be who they want to be instead of being told who they want who told who they're supposed to be like oh you're castless you're forever you know you're forever ne you're never allowed to amount to something but that person could become something greater than yourself and even greater than most other people oh there's a random nug in the room oh, you're hello. asking me if i have a relationship with my brother aren't you your dead brother yes. i wonder what he thought of you i don't think he cared much about my existence I didn't mean anything to him. Anyway, to answer your original question, no. We never spoke. Well, maybe once. Yeah. Merrick and Kaylin had come to Redcliffe to visit the Arl. I was very young then. We were introduced. I believe mm -hmm. I said, greetings, your highness. He said, ooh, swords. And ran off the <laughs> So, yes, that was the extent of our relationship. Nice. We drifted apart after that. Oh. Very sad. Very sad. Terrible. Oh. Hello, Nug. Alright. Let's come in. Alright. So now that we're here, I'm going to pause the recording and do some other stuff that I need to get done. But... Next time, we'll be proving to Haramont that we're good people. We've got documents that I think will be useful in proving that we're also with Haramont, if we're willing to, like, say, hey, they knew about your documents and everything. But we'll see where that leads for next time. Until then, cheerio, chaps! Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Bye!